Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pointing by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody today? Oh, I'm pretty good so far today. It's pretty early in the morning here in Arizona. I'm usually not doing a video this early, but I figured eh, I got things to do, so I got to do a video and move on for the rest of the day. I have to make my stuffed dates wrapped in bacon for an appetizer tonight for dinner. And ooh, it's going to be <laughs> yum. Oh. Yeah, we haven't had those in a while. Those are good. So, today I am doing a tic-tac-toe, but it's not really a tic-tac-toe. It's a new game that Phil invented. So, oh, he uh, came to me and said, we're going to do a tic-tac-toe. No, I take that back. We're going to do a tic-tac-toe, but it's not going to be a tic-tac-toe. It's like, okay. Yeah, you're shaking your head. That's what I did. I went, okay. So, you're going to see his uh, idea, which is a good idea. Well, and, we'll find out if it's a good idea. No, it's, it'll be a good idea. So the colors I'm using for my, well, tic-tac-toe is the Prism Pour, which this is uh, Pretty Petunia, and that's by Color Art, and Egyptian Coin Prism Pour. You know, walk like an Egyptian. You know, I have to do that, Phil. You know that. Okay, so then my dots that I'm going to use are Pineapple Crush by Primary Elements, Quinacridone Magenta by Golden, and this is a combination of African Jade and Stargazer Primary Elements. So, here we go. Phil's idea. I'm not going to take credit if it doesn't turn out. Of course you will. Okay, that's his first line. But I gotta put this down first. Oh no, I better do the other line so I can go over it. And then his other tic-tac-toe line. I think this is just tic-tac with no toe. I think you're right. I think the toe got cut off. <laughs> This is Egyptian coin, people. Beautiful, another color. With the pretty petunia. Oh, do do, Kath. Well, those, I love those two colors together. Mm -hmm. They're really pretty. Okay, now we're gonna do our little dots. Um, where are we going to do the same color dot or are we going to mix them up? I think we're going to mix them well, up. Well, you can, we're using the same three colors, but you can just kind of mix up how okay. you how you layer I know it, what I I'm guess. Going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I got it all figured out now in my brain. I'm glad you do. Yes, I do, Phil. These pigments and paints that Kathy's using today have the same recipe. Uh, that's in video 478. And that recipe video will... Uh, Describe her pouring medium, her cell activator recipe, and how she does some of her colored bases, along with a few other tips. There's a direct link to that recipe video in the description box. While Phil is reading off his cue cards. <laughs> I was not. Yes, you were. I saw it, Phil. Hey, if I don't have that memorized by now after saying it a thousand times. Hey, uh, on one of the videos, I was stuttering around because I was with my name and you said, oh, you've only been saying that over 600 times and you still can't get it right. You're right, Phil. So, I got to give you a little bit of, you know, what you give me. That's true. I'm going to let you get away with it. This 
Isn't this cute? It is. Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Same name as her YouTube channel. She'd love you have to join. Have you joined? <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, talk either now. There's a direct link to her Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller Facebook group <laughs> in the description box. Okay. What I was thinking, I was going to put a little dot there and a little dot there, but... Well, that's I'm not up going to you. To. I'm that's not going to. to. Okay. Now we're going to use our cell activator. Did okay. you want to put a little dollop of something in the middle of... Uh, like your um, Chantilly lace or something on top of each of the dollops? Just asking. Well, we could because, you know, my Chantilly lace is just sitting over here waiting to be used. She's my diamond girl. Ooh, ooh, you sure do shine. Ooh, ooh. I could just dance all around. If I had music playing in the background, these people wouldn't believe it because I wouldn't get any painting Well, done. yeah, your video would be two hours long because all you'd be doing is dancing around. I know, because when I go in the stores, I just, I don't even realize that people, I just start dancing. Now, these prison pours that Kathy is using is from Color Art. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art, and you get a, a wonderful 20% discount on all your purchases because of the uh, affiliation that Kathy has. There's a direct link and discount code in the description box. Also, there is one for KS Resin and also Boom Gel Stains and Australian Floetrol. So take advantage of those discounts. Save some money, get some wonderful products. I'm just gonna pop a few of these bubbles. And then we're gonna move on to my Black Magic and start swiping a little bit. We're gonna see what okay. we get. That's Kathy's cell activator. In this case, she's using black Amsterdam paint and Australian Floetrol. Of course, you can use any color paint you want. Uh, Kathy does prefer the Amsterdam brand paint for her cell activator. Okay. Oh, what am I gonna do here, Phil? This well, might be a little exciting. Okay, you're picking up all the different colors you had in those dollops. Ha! Oh my gosh, this is so fun. As you can see, Kathy is very generous with the amount of cell activator she puts on. Want to make sure you have enough to spread over the whole area that you're going to be spreading. Instantaneously, you get the cell starting to develop. As you can see, here's the first swipe and how the cells have developed and are growing. And then this was the second swipe and they are also coming very nicely growing and I like how the you put the co different colors on the dollops in different order and you're getting completely different results to blow this a little bit. The blowing of the cell activator will help bring up the colors that were laid down. Cool. <laughs> I really like uh, how this is turning out, it's really cool.
All right, stop it. Now, I'm gonna take my marble, because I'm not messing with these. Okay, all right. This is so fun. Yeah, you really have a blast doing these. Yes, I do. Try it, people. It's so fun. Because you never know what you're going to get from your designs. Kathy does have four stores that you can peruse. She has, of course, her Amazon shop, which has all the supplies you may need for paint pouring. She has her Etsy shop, which has all her original art for sale. She has a Redbubble shop, which has her images on a wide variety of merchandise. And also her La Gallerist fine clothing shop, which has her images imprinted on really nice dresses and tops. So there are links to all four shops in the description box. Check those out. Okay, wow. I think we're safe. Okay. Okay. That should be pretty cool. It is very cool. I'm hoping it turns out like how I have it pictured. Hmm. So we shall see. It is so neat right there. Got paint off the, my little marble. The purple is in the Egyptian coin there. There's another one of the dollops. Okay. Here we go, Phil. And guess what else I get to do today, people? What's that? Clean <laughs> my pool. Because it's getting a little bit... <laughs> yes, I would say so. It's pretty full of paint. It's getting pretty stiff. Oh, wow. Oh, is this cool? This is really cool. These these two red and yellow areas really are set it off on the uh, corners there. Yeah, they do. And look at how the white is. Y yeah, See? exactly. I love the... Ah. You left some white in there. You actually picked up some white cells there. In the middle. Some beautiful cells right there from that dollop. I just love this one. And look at the sparkle you're getting from the prism pores. Really, that's really, my really, really, really. It lays exactly. with a pretty face. Here again was the purples in the Egyptian coin center. Very cool corner there. That this cool. turned out really nice. This is really neat. Really nice. It is really, really Quite cool. An interesting composition to it. Well, if you like it, everybody, give me a thumbs up. Um, I, ha I have a blast doing this because you never know what you're going to get. I mean, you never, ever know what you're going to get. So I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. And this was Phil's new tic-tac-toe without not new. the toe. It's not new. I'm sure people have done it a thousand times. Oh, it's your new way without the toe, I said. <laughs> oh, without the toe. See, so you're not listening oh, okay. to me. It's your new tic-tac-toe <laughs> minus the toe. There we go. That's okay. Phil's new game. <laughs> but see, he doesn't listen. See, people, he doesn't listen. Well, that's true. That's true. So... I want everybody to stay healthy, stay safe. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. And maybe next time we'll put the toe back on. I mean, who knows what's coming? Maybe even a bunion. <laughs> I have no idea. There we go. Whatever Phil comes up with, I don't know. But he might include a bunion next. So until the next time, I hope everybody stays healthy, stays well. Have a few laughs with us. We love all of you. See you later, alligators. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, boy. 